everyone. Um, just waiting for Fabian to uh, come on board. Happy Easter, firstly. Um, here we go. The Swiss bear is here. Sorry, my There he is. Good morning. Good morning, Fabian. How are you, mate? I'm good, I'm good. Still a bit tired, but otherwise I'm good. Yeah, sorry to um, wake you up first thing in the morning. I understand it's Easter morning in, in Switzerland, so, you know, big respect for, uh, for taking my call and... Uh, postponing and just kind of rolling with the Easter flow, but so thanks very much for coming on board. No worries, Dori. I think with our emotional sharing time we had, I think uh, on on all the years together and on Plus, I mean, damn, you rock on 07. I mean, hey, I'm, I'm still super proud, super happy uh, about that day and, and all the time, and uh, I think also Happy Easter to you and to your family and to all the to all the followers and all the people there are they're now live. Yeah, no, thanks very much. So I, my first question is obviously we're seven and a half hours, I mean Adelaide, South Australia. You obviously I love in, it. in Bern. Uh, you know, now I've got one of these this morning from my kids. Well, sorry, from the Easter Bunny, I mean. Um, and I really want to know why is Swiss chocolate so much better than Australian chocolate? <laughs> that's that's my favorite. Oh. <laughs> why? Um, oh. it's, it's just it's pretty good, man. This is pretty good chocolate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but Switzerland has his own quality. Switzerland has his his I don't say his history on making chocolates, but um, I mean it's like watches. It's like mountains. <laughs> just, all, just all the really good things that everyone likes. Yeah. Which has I mean, the best on. <laughs> we, we have a lot of good things, but we don't have the sea. Um, we don't have, yeah, we have also good wine, but but not the same as you have in quality. Um, quality other products, huh? Yes. <laughs> Well, yeah, so I guess um, I won't take you too long. I know every minute's precious with your family. Um, no worries. So we'll, we'll keep it short and sweet, but, you know, obviously... Don't worry, I think, I think this is my first Easter home for almost 30 years, hmm. plus or minus, because normally we were pinning a number on today and, and racing uh, Perry Bay or Tour of Flanders. It kind of always, Easter always fell on these weekends. And, yeah, we always... We always um, we were entertaining the people, uh, you know, every weekend, most weekends of our life. So, you know, to kind of be home, uh, normally I'd be in Belgium and France um, all this week with uh, Moomoo Cycling. We, we take the tour groups over there. Um, so it's a big change, you know, where no one's flying anywhere. The coronavirus is pandemics just changed the entire world. I mean, how, how are you guys in Switzerland? Um, in Switzerland, we are um, okay. I mean, we we have um, homeschooling, home office from the work. Um, they they request it to all the people if they can do it. We have supermarkets, like I said, open. We have um, pharmacies open. The rest is shut down. Um, they want in generally that people stays home. Uh, especially the over 65 year people and I mean I can go still for a bike ride this is yeah, what we still can, can do still, still. You still can yes. ride yes yeah, still yeah. but um, I could ride four or five hours but <laughs> I don't do it I mean uh, my longest ride was three hours so I have the the, um, the ride of the year was my three hour ride I think now and so, um, no, I'm just, we're just home and um, also now Eastern, we, we don't have any sport, we don't have any cycling. Um, yeah, it's, it's a weird situation, it's a crazy situation on the globe because in Italy, 
in Spain, especially they are locked down, so they can't move. Yeah. They're just in house, and so um, yeah, it's it's all over. But mm. every country has different um, yeah, different lockdowns, like I said, and um, yeah, it's Eastern. And right. Eastern yeah. Europe is or is Flanders or is Roubaix or is Amstel. And now, um, yeah, we are cycling fans and uh, now <laughs> sitting home, no bike race. I mean, you could, I think, I don't know in which TV channel, but I think there's some different TV channels in, in Europe. What I've seen, they will show some yeah. Harry Roubaix races from the old time, yeah. what is also nice. But yeah. there's no 2020 winner for that. I mean, at the moment, yeah. there will be no one. And it feels strange, you said, um, for 30 years you've been traveling or you've been always <laughs> away. And now uh, you get your Eastern bunny on an Eastern day. So that's, that's but it's cool. also a period of time. Yeah, that's right. I mean, it, it certainly, I think it's going to change change the way we all, um, I think it will change all our lives for, long, for many, many years, if not forever. Um, mm -hmm. You know, having more quality time at home. Obviously, you know, everyone's happy. Uh, you know, there's a lot of drama going on in the world, but, um, you know, we're, we're traveling less. We're, we're working from home. We're, you know, everyone's in Australia is fixed, repairing their house and doing all little jobs. And um, it, it's, you know, my, my kids are camping in the backyard. Um, you know, there's a lot of different things which we're, you know, as a human race, we're, we're changing and adapting to the situation. But, you know, mm. let's get back to it. Perry Bay. I would normally be standing in Nuremberg Forest today uh, with a group of guests who have never even seen the Nuremberg Forest before. Um, so, you know, I normally take my, our, our clients and we, we park up right at the start of the forest where they come in at, you know, 60, 62 kilometres an hour. Hit the 66. Coffee. 66, is that? <laughs> I knew you'd catch me out on that. I think I hit it at 70 once um, in an ambulance. So, um, you know, and then we normally head to the velodrome and, and watch it. Uh, and, you know, it's just such an epic day. Um, Perry Bay has been obviously very special uh, for me and also for you. I mean, you've won three times. Have, have, you got a, have you got a real highlight? Is there one, one kind of magical moment where that, that, you know, I mean, I know you've got three rocks in your – they're in your sauna, right, your trophies? Yeah. <laughs> Um, mine's just here. I've only got one, so you know. But it is the only one in Australia, I think. I think Matty Heyman is uh, with him in in, uh, in Holland. Um, have you got a Have you got a highlight? Like you know, is the one the one? I mean, obviously, I was you know roommates with you. We're, we're best friends, we're closest friends for so many years. To be, for me to be a part of you know the the tactics and the. the the strategy coming into Roubaix was still one of my highlights, man. You know, like we just get Fabian to 80 kilometers from the finish and, and you won, you know, you did your stuff. Um, what is your number one highlight out of those Roubaix? Mm. I have, I have too many. I mean, um, of course, um, the three victories, um, being already its its own its own island, um, my 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 big highlight, I think, um, winning in 06, um, after almost eighty three years, has 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 won again a Swiss rider. But yeah. I mean, I mean, I think one of my big highlights was my first participation. I went, I went mentally. I went just into that race not ready. Did you, did just, you finish? No, <laughs> I I don't finish. I stopped on the second feed zone, yeah. and I mean I was I was just yeah, how call I was um, I was just too too easy. To I looked the race as oh, it's just through bad it's a few stones and and so. <laughs> I went mentally, I went wrong into that race. Yeah. And for me, I lost the war against the cops. So yeah. this is what for me has changed the race that I said, I want to come back next year and I want to beat the cobbles. So, yeah. and what happened? I came pretty good, just 
um, in in 04, um, in, I mean 03 was the bad one, the first one, yeah. and 04 I arrived with uh, with other yeah. three guys and told we was four. Yeah. Uh, I arrived on the on the track and instead of yeah, I don't say I have the best track skills, but what happened is I we arriving with this uh, four riders and I'm the last one <laughs> and I mean yeah. it's again a bummer but the best words I have got um, was from Franco Ballerini that has mentioned to me hey you might have lost today Paris Roubaix but you're gonna win it and not only one time I mean this is from Franco Ballerini the most stylish ever Paris Roubaix rider I've seen in my life uh, such a humble yeah. of a person and um, I mean, this is just two early, early highlights. Yeah. The win, I mean, even the, the year after, I have won in 07. I have might, I don't know if I have mentioned it on, on the Legend Dinner at the Two Down Under. Uh, 07 in the morning, we woke up and there was just one music song with a Beautiful Day <laughs> and then it was a beautiful day. Yeah, it I was, was going to mention I was going to mention that, uh, that it does get brought up quite a bit. That was our favourite song for the time at that, that, that time of our lives, and we kind of woke the whole hotel up, put the Bosey speaker yeah. on the, and just woke up the whole hotel. And I think everybody already just went, Jesus, man, those guys are pumped. Like, you know, <laughs> we were ready to go to battle. Um, yeah, which we, we went for most, for most classics. We went, you went into the break. And uh, the first plan went perfect, and and things came to our favor, to our um, and we just raced perfectly. And and yeah. I mean, and this uh, and this is also what I believe in in perfect races and in in you know so a certain situation that comes that there are signs on the road, but you we have to do it from our side um, yeah. for, for 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 our tactics for for our wills. For, for our investment we have done, for our sacrifices, for the yep. team, for what we want to achieve. And this is winning bike races. <laughs> and that was special times. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll end up now, but I guess if, uh, if we'd never heard of COVID-19, the coronavirus before, I mean, and, we're, and the world was going on, and I can't wait to the day we never hear these words again, but... Who, who, what, what do you, what did you, what do you normally do now? Do you, do you do commentary? Do you, do you, you know, you don't go to the races anymore. But um, what, what's a typical day? Do you sit home and actually watch it with your family and friends, or are you doing yeah, TV? Or what, what's, what's a day in Fabian Cancellara's life on a tour of Flanders or Paris Bay Day? Um, yeah, depends on on tour of Flanders. It, it might be that I will be um, in Belgium. The plan was a bit to be up there, um, and then uh, planning was having holidays because our kids they're having two weeks um, holidays. So I said, with all the workload and and with all what everything was going on, I said, hey, uh, let's have proper holidays. Um, we might will be travel to to Spain, uh, Gran Canaria island, uh, or even to Middle East. Um, for for some holiday, for some rest, and watching Peru Bay, probably really in TV, but Flanders was yeah. a bit the plan, and and in general we had anyway our plans, um, and and this also for for Corona or COVID nineteen yeah. we had to postpone our own chasing Cancellari event in Flanders that we will have the first time, so I mean I just been busy and and. Um, Busy with the workload from 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 the event side, but on the other hand, um, that's why I said even there will be the classics um, one that will have watched live, but on what I will do it on commentary or or, um, or yes, just being okay. there as a guest or even even coming over to use to uh, to say hello, um, you know um, when it comes to those races and this is what is difficult just to go there to enjoy. That's yeah. the one thing, but yeah. there is always things around, and, and now um, I think I'm just yeah happy. I'm home, happy. I'm healthy, and I hope everyone else also is, is healthy because 
No one knows what this damned small virus that has caused so much trouble in the world that has made stand still everything. Um, right. Yeah, it's um, it's crazy. It's actually crazy. It's not. It's not. It's not the heat. It's, no, it's, it's, not. it's really it's, it's really hard to understand, especially for us down here in Australia. I think we're probably. I mean, we knew we lived in a good country, uh, but I think now we're we're just so lucky that we don't have the population. We don't have people you know, crossing borders like Europe. Um, so I know in Adelaide we're we're very lucky and uh, most of Australia, but. Yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the UCI and, and the ASO and like what the heck's going to happen. You know, what's going to happen, man? So I, have I get asked it all the time. You know, is Tour de France going to happen? I'm like, well, it's definitely not going to happen on the dates where they want it to. But in my, in my opinion, I think the Tour de France has to happen. It is the most important cycling event for the for the sponsors for the business side of um, cycling. And hopefully we can get a shortened version, even if it's 10 days, two weeks. I don't think, yeah. you know, the sponsors need something to be broadcast. Um, the world is going to be starved of events and we're starved of sports. So, you know, the, the viewing will be massive. Um, and hopefully uh, we can have that later on in the year. And, and then 2021, we can just start with a clean slate and, and start all over again. And at this stage, two are down under, besides the... The world championships, which are obviously in Switzerland, uh, you know, I know the UCI are going to keep the world championships on the same date. All the other races will probably change uh, in the calendar, but the Tour Down Under could actually be the first, um, you know, world Tour real bike race in its in its uh, actual time slot. So I know we're all thinking positive, and I'm just trying to keep everybody positive, and you know, sport will come back, the world will come back to some kind of normal, but. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to it, and uh, yeah, it's it's crazy time. So, last question: If there was a Perry Bay that was raced today, who was going to win it? <laughs> Who's your pick? <laughs> it's a tough one. Yeah, I haven't. Um, <laughs> it's a tough one because we just didn't we didn't get a classic. You know, normally no. Listen, Ale Philippe, he says, uh, before I want to win Milan San Remo and then dances up the Poggio. And you know, yeah, but... we, you know, we've had no gauge to see how guys form. Uh, it's um, it's a really, I feel sorry for all the guys out there as well the pros, the women, the guys who are, who are on home doing... training. And, well, it's terrible. Um, you would have won. Um, the problem is that's an easy one. I don't know who was in the start list. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's a good one. Um, yeah, true. No, it's, 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 no, it's, it's 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 honestly, I mean, it's with what happened with the COVID nineteen and the virus in in itself. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm curious about also the season. I mean, if the tour is going to be held, I mean, it will be huge for cycling because yeah. the world wants to see sport. Yeah. The world wants to see the emotion. The world wants to see people, I mean, sorry to say, suffering. The people, they want to see, um, yeah, wins. They want to see just sport. And yeah. and that's why, I mean, that this year is still possible to travel just on a globe. It's going to be difficult, in my opinion, because every border, yeah. every country has these different rules. But, of course, I'm, I'm hoping for our sport for cycling, for everyone that cycles on plus, um, yeah, that we're gonna have the worlds, we're gonna have certain bike races, and mm. the season is gonna be for sure longer. But who knows? I mean, um, um, yeah, maybe there will be no bike races, maybe there will be maybe. no bike races, and and yeah. if then uh, I will look forward to come down to down under to seeing you as the real first year race director and supporting you down there. Uh, but on the end, um, slowly back to normal and, and, and this is what it's about right now.